What's going on, guys? So in today's episode, we are going to be talking about why you should never really day trade blue chip stocks and why common stocks or penny stocks are kind of the best way to get your account going. And uh, yeah. All right. So the first reason is because, as you can see here, we have a common stock, uh, GLMD, that moved from eight dollars all the way up to a high of about twenty eight dollars a share uh, this happened today um, there's no executions on it or you know there was news and you know everything kind of just worked out for it pretty well but here hold on guys let's uh, do a horizontal line all right and um, and uh, common stocks are a little more easier to trade because you can get those, you know, 40%, 50% winners a day and really double your account, if not triple your account, you know, within a week to two weeks. All right, so here, you know, this this uh, stock, if you'd have bought in yesterday, you would have been up over 146%. It was a high of, you know, 253 this morning, and then it kind of just faded out. Uh, so that's one reason and as you compare it to like Apple here wait hold on Apple the oh, I can't think of the stock the ticker name hold on So AAPL, okay. So let's go. AAPL. This is one of the most common stocks, you know, in the market. Uh, you know, they have tons of floats, tons of shares to be traded, and they rarely ever break over the uh, moving average lines. And when they do, yeah, it goes up two percent. And for that type of stock, is a lot. But for growing an account, that would, that if not, wouldn't even cover commissions to get it going. So, and they are a little more easier to trade because you can always short them. You can always, you, you know, play, play any cards you want. You know, as you can see here, there's a perfect support line. And, you know, you could make trades all day doing that, but these trades would have been, 1% or, you know, half percent winners. And you'd have to be trading with hundreds of thousands of dollars to make any money off it. Um, and let's go to another stock, SNES. This one is a stock that I have traded in the past. As you can see here, you know, when, when, when this stock breaks from the moving average lines, Let's uh, draw it out. Okay, so here's when it broke. Uh, 45 cents. So if you would have hopped in at the broke of the 200 moving average and you would have sold out on first pullback, you know, that would that would be here. Let's get it. Where's it online? First pullback, $1.14. You would have doubled your money in you know, 10 minutes, however long it took to move. But, oh, sorry, I'm like moving myself around. I didn't even realize that. But it's just a better way to trade. And a lot of people think, you know, penny stocks are risky and they, you know, they're too dangerous and, and so on and so on. But, you know, if you put $10,000 into this stock... You know, you bought 20,000 shares and moved up. You could have made, you know, another $10,000 in a day. You know, there's no job, no nothing that can, uh, you can make that much money in such a short, short period of time. So this is really why I trade penny stocks or common stocks. Like, um, a, this is a penny stock because it's below $5 and... That's what the stock exchange classifies as a 
any stock. But this one right here, uh, GLMD, is a common stock. And this one just went up on news, got a lot of momentum. And that's what it's all about, finding that momentum and capitalizing on it. So I hope everybody enjoyed this video. Please sure to hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you guys think. All right, peace out.